Okay, so as you can see, we're at our undisclosed testing facility or just the school parking lot. You want to be safe when you're dropping things, and that's what we're doing right now. We're testing the drop mechanism that and I made in a previous video. If you haven't seen that, go check it out. Um, so first up, we're going to be dropping the orange. Uh, this um, should explode, hopefully, and uh, I guess let's get to it. Okay, so we're putting uh, on the drop mechanism. Go ahead and have my dad launch it. Uh, slide it up a little bit. Okay. There we go. Um, pull it in the top. If you're hand launching, make sure it's away from any body parts. go. Okay, well the orange worked great, so we're going to go ahead and squash a squash. Uh, it's a little bit heavy. Actually, I don't know if it's going to lift this. We'll find out. We'll find out, okay. It's a little scary, actually. I don't know if it's going to be able to lift this. Um, okay, we'll try it, see if we can. Okay. We need to launch it over here. So the weight was too heavy for the drop mechanism apparently on the squash. Phantom could barely lift it. So we're going to go ahead and do a soda can real quick. Okay. Okay, well, soda can versus a 150 foot drop. Uh, 150 foot drop wins. This thing did not stand a chance. Uh, next up, uh, appropriately named, is the Kool Aid Burst. So let's go make it burst. Good. Okay, uh, well, this thing definitely bursted. The burst bursted big time. And, well, next we got the tomato. And why? Because
because I really hate tomatoes big time. So let's go drop it. Okay, so that tomato really splatted, so now uh, we're going to clean up our mess of fungi by dropping this grenade. Don't worry, it's a water balloon grenade. guy uh, from a couple hundred feet. Uh, hopefully he doesn't drift anywhere with the wind, but um, there's no wind, so let's see how it goes. Kit, we got our friend parachute guy. Let's go ahead and launch. <laughs> Getting close to the props when I do that. Okay. Come on. I'm do. I had we had a lot of fun making this video. I hope you had a lot of fun watching it. Uh so we're, it proves that the mechanism works extremely well. Uh, it works almost as mu well as those really expensive ones. And the reason why this might be actually better than a servo or like that flea flea thing where it releases it like that is because when you're co going like this, it's not putting a lot of pressure. So when it releases, it's not creating a sudden jolt and causing it to flip. Anyway, um, thanks for watching. We got a part two coming. If you want to leave any suggestions for this, for our next video, leave it in the comment section below. And uh, if you want to become a really extreme like us, subscribe to the channel and we'll see you guys next time.